Hello everyone, this is Jose Carlos from Cisco Tech Switching Team. In this video, I will show you how to perform a CPU upgrade on a Catalyst 9400 series. Before beginning, allow me to talk about this feature. What is CPLD and why is it important to discuss? CPLD refers to hardware program and firmware, often upgraded to resolve defects or support new features. CPLD upgrades are not released with every software upgrade and they should be manually triggered after upgrading the software image. The CPLD upgrades apply only to the generation 1 of the Catalyst 9400 supervisor, and the CPLD version depends on the iOS XE code. For more information, here is the official Cisco link. With that in mind, let's move forward. As a first step, Identify the supervisor module and the CPLD version you are currently running. Use the command show module to see the details and please focus on the parts label module and firmware. Using the show platform command will also display the CPLD version running on your device. An interesting point to add here is to check this variable and ensure it either doesn't exist on your device or is set to zero. Otherwise, it will cause an issue with this upgrade. Using the command show run bar pipe include boot loader upgrade disable, we display it on your device. In this example, as we can see, we have a single supervisor. Once we know which version we have, which in this case is the 1710, and compare it with the chart previously charted in this video, for the iOS exe code that we have, in this case it's 1795, it should be 262, 105. Let's move into it. Go into the configure terminal, then enable service internal. A brief explanation of this command is that it enables hidden commands of the platform. It is intended for tag purposes, and there is no issue or disruption expected with this command. Proceed to exit from global configuration and apply this one in a privileged mode. Upgrade Hardware Programmable CPLD File Name Boot Flash RP Active Note that this is not necessary to specify a particular file. As the files needed for the CPLD upgrade are already contained in the iOS XE code. It's important to mention that once the command is entered in the CLI, the supervisor module automatically reloads and the power cycle will take place, making it inactive for approximately 5 minutes. Once the full process is finished, we can check again using the same command shared previously. Now, Let's take a look at the process with the Dell Supervisor setup. As shown before, let's use show model and show platform commands here. Here we have a CPLD version 17101. In the CPLD version that matches this example for the IUX exit code 1735, for demonstrative purposes, should be 190. 82605. On this occasion, after we enable the service internal command under the configure terminal, we will use this command to trigger the upgrade. This time, the upgrade will occur on the standby supervisor first. Upgrade hardware programmable CPLD file name boot flash RP standby. Here, the standby supervisor will go through the same upgrade process, which could take approximately 17 minutes. Once the standby supervisor reaches the standby hot status under the show redundancy command, We can proceed by triggering a switchover between the active and standby supervisor and repeat the process.
Once the switchover is complete, we need to follow the same procedure using the command upgrade hardware programmable cpld file name boot flash rp standby. Finally, we can check the cpld version with the show platform command to ensure they match the official documentation and confirm the cpld is upgraded. Please don't hesitate to contact TAC support for any questions you might have and check the TAC video portal for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.